If you are recording with Audacity, you will sometimes notice that the waveform doesn't get bigger than 0.5. Likewise, the meter won't go above minus 6 dB. This happens if you are using a normal microphone plugged into your audio interface. Here I'm recording a sine wave to stand in for a mic. Using the meter or looking at the waveform you would assume that all is well. You can see the signal coming in on the left channel and it isn't clipping. But if we stop the recording and zoom in you can see that the sine wave has clipped horribly and turned into a square wave. The problem is that we are making a mono recording but from what Windows treats as a stereo source. If we look at the device in Windows we can see that the first two inputs are treated as a stereo pair. Same for the second two inputs, three and four. I'm using a Soundcraft mixer, but many audio interfaces behave like this. If I select the correct device in Audacity and choose one mono recording channel, we might think that it would record just the first input, what it calls the left one. But in fact, it records both the inputs and adds them together to make a single track. Since each input can only contribute up to half the total, it's capped at 0.5. We can test this by playing another sine wave into the second input. Now we can see that the waveform is reaching 1.0 and the meter shows clipping. This is an audacity feature rather than a fundamental problem. In a moment we'll look at an alternative program. The only workaround I've found for audacity is to record the track in stereo. If you know a better way, please leave a message in the comments. If I unplug my second input and change to a stereo recording, then we can see that although the first input level hasn't changed, it's clearly clipping in the waveform and the meter shows it. There's a little bit of crosstalk that causes this input on the right hand side. Once you've recorded the track in stereo, you can convert it to two mono tracks and then discard the empty. Other programs don't necessarily have this problem. A proper door like Reaper allows you to choose which input you want to record from. If we stick to just free tools, then I sometimes use Osen Audio, which I've linked to in the description. When I start recording Osen Audio, it asks me what kind of recording I want. I'll choose 48 kilohertz and mono. If I choose mono, then it only records the left channel. You can see that it correctly indicates the size of the waveform and the meter has a nice clear overload indicator. Osen Audio is not as powerful as Audacity, but it does come in handy sometimes.